Hey people, Injured here, welcome back to the Elite League show. This is the second quarter final beginning on Calderas Desert. And on the blue side, it's Shroom, also known as Mashram apparently. With a Plague Champion that starts off range combat with a damage over time bolter, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair. But it's pretty slow. We have a purple Plague Champion and Emperor's Children badge, okay then. On the red side is Ben. 1993 with a Farseer support hero that fights in melee combat. Some powerful buffs, debuffs, and control abilities. Some good old Oathway. Got some more heretics for Shroom as expected in a 1v1. And Ben with the Dire Avengers into some more Banshees. I'd say go straight into Raptors because Ben's next purchase is going to be a Shuriken or Rangers. And Raptors do pretty well there. I mean, you have to be careful of the Banshees. And of course the Farseer can get her... Gravity Blade thing in tier 2. Or just scarily buff the Banshees up. But Raptors are cool. Focusing on the east side early on is Shroom. Banshees grabbing the mid. Going to be a 2 to 1 very early on for Ben. But I think Banshee's going to be outnumbered in this engagement, which might get him off the field and allow Shroom to sweep through to the west. Looks like Ben is trying to pull them back into their own lines. Dire Avengers are now there in heavy cover. Not sure if you fellas are going to be able to cap safely. There's some Nurgle worship. Give them some health regen. Banshees thought about going in, but they foresaw a Doom Blast in their future. We have a Rangers on the way for Ben. Nothing yet for Shroom. They do have a couple of nodes up though. Banshee's just hanging out, waiting for the Farseer. Here she comes, using her fleet to sprint around. And there's Guide on the Dire Avengers. Very early Guide. Only lasts 10 seconds, I think. That's one of her starting abilities, giving 30% more range and damage to an allied squad. There's already gone off. Wait until they're shooting at something, I say. And here are the Rangers. Kind of support snipers. Long range pew pew with some disruption and infiltration support. Hey, champion, busy capping. Haven't really seen an engagement kickoff yet. Both players forward capping, although the play champion gets it done without anyone around. Tried to get that wreck point back, did Mushroom or Shram or Shroom, whatever the name is. Rangers do have their Pathfinder gear. Gives them the Psychic Beacon. I thought they had the Psychic Beacon by default, but uh, apparently not. They do need their Pathfinder gear. Okay, our Space Marines dropping a model. Where are the Banshees? Are they, say, in Retreat Path? Looks like they tried to get to the Plague Champion there, but he ducked inside a garrison. Can they pounce on those CSM? No, they're not even going to try. Heretics can grab mid. Meanwhile, Farseer is harassing and annoying these Heretics. It's Raptors on the way for Shroom. 40 power these days can jump into combat and suppress nearby enemies. Get into some fisticuffs. Coming out of base now is Ben. Farseer is still hanging around. Now towards the mid. She wishes she had a destructor right about now. Oh, there's the rangers doing a thing. Well done, fellas. You killed a heretic. Four red for a heretic isn't bad. Aren't guards when only three? I just heard something go all sneaky like. It was these guys using the hollow fields. There's some Nurgle worship. Are the Raptors going to jump? They are. Just jumping kind of blindly onto the VP there. Kind of dangerous, but there's Banshees coming in. Drawing them back into the Plague Champion. Heretics are just going to worship and watch the Raptors die. Well, one of them died. Here comes some more Heretics, but I don't think you want to try and take that engagement. Grenades can go flying in as well. And that's quite painful. CSM do not have their eternal war, but we do have triple gens up. And the node over here being bashed. Aspect of strength is in, so gonna get that fancy spear in tier two. Speaking of tier two, looks like maybe Ben's gonna be the first to get there. Maybe. Keeping those rangers moving, shoot the move, shoot the move. Need to get that muscle memory down for that. 
don't think Ben's going to engage here with double heretics in behind, especially now that one has an aspiring champion. There he is, a Chaos Marine, Bolt Pistol and Chainsword. Hold his own pretty well in combat, also gives the other heretics more hit points. There's a decent grenade and a kinetic pulse into it. Nicely done by Ben. Killed like four or five heretics there. Which is important for an aspiring champion heretic squad, especially because you know those guys are going to want to get into melee. Thin them out before they even get there. And it helps. Old Ghost Helm is in for the Farseer. Actually gives uh, a helm, which I think is cool. I'd like more of the war gear to give physical differences to the heroes. I think it's a cool idea. Noble Worship, some melee, some bolt of fire, and she's off. Tier 2 for Shroom first. I guess Ben had some reinforcing to do. Or is purchasing more aspects. Whereas Shroom did not get a turn of war, I don't think. No grenade launchers. No Plague Champion Warger either. 40 heavy melee damage and then a bunch of courage damage per second, which basically keeps them suppressed. Good tool to use against Raptors. When they jump in, you can just suppress them, or of course, heretics as they come rushing in. Will we see that gravity blade though? Special attack, knocks the Plague Champion off of it. There's that Ghost Hell Mind War. Not sure if it only damages a single model or, or if it's spread out. I assume it's spread out, but the way the effect is only on a single model. Not sure. There's the tier 2 for Shroom. And here comes some Howling Banshees. Uh oh, War Shout onto the CSM, gets them out of there. Heretics were not around to help. There's some Noble Worship to try and keep the Raptors in play. Take Champion firing that Bolter. Raptors happy to go in on the Howling Banshees, get their Aspiring Champion. A very good grenade, very well dodged as well by Shroom. Well played there. Was aggressive with the Raptors knowing that the Aspiring Champion was coming in and dodged that grenade pretty well. Now because of that, they get the central VP, although Rangers have taken a natural and these guys are off capping the power. The aspiring champion for these guys gets that awesome looking chaos maul thing. Demon maul, I think they call it maybe. Gives them the demonic fury, which is a big single target attack, which knocks a model back. And there's a special there, boom. Decent grenade again though. Gets a couple of models, nicely done by Ben. Been on point pretty much with those grenades. Farseer gets dealt with by Heretics with CSM support. No sign of a Blood Crusher for Shroom. Might have been able to do some work. What are they going for then? Blood Letters? Maybe some Havocs? Thinking that Ben's going for a Wraith Lord or something? Uh oh. Touch of Nurgle, it means runaway time. Luckily for them, they did get the War Shout off, which slowed the Heretics down. And now they are going to be okay-ish. Dropping a model or two. Oh, Autark dropped in. Maybe with her spear she can threaten the raptors. I'm not sure how she'd do. Solo against raptors. With her spear. I assume not great. But could help turn the tide. Dave Champion, I think, ate a grenade there. It's a Chaos Dreadnought for Shroom. So the default Chaos Dreadnought doesn't really specifically counter anything but it is a big lump of stuff with a gun that your enemy then has to deal with but it's Eldar with Farseer support I mean all she has to do the Farseer oh she's going for Gravity Blade just has to get like a Falcon or Fire Dragons buff them with Guide and alongside the Banshees that Dreadnought wouldn't last super long gonna need to be careful with it that's for sure well, here it is. Auto cannon. Good damage to all targets with a small area of effect and a mean looking claw. Because, like, 70 odd DPS heavy melee. Needs to keep heretics nearby, I think. Nurgle worship these days does affect vehicles, which is great. Here we go. Get some, pouring some good damage on the fast here. There was some help. Gravity Blade is in. That's going to be preserved mainly, I think, for the Raptors, but we could see heretics 
tossed aside too. Banshee's there deal dealing with them, it seems. Maybe with some Autog support, she's now grabbing the VP. 4 to 8 to 4 to 3. Pretty nicely poised game, actually. The key is going to see is going to be how this Dreadnought does. It's killing some her some uh, Banshees. That underslung twin linked Bolter on the bottom does some decent work. And they are persuaded to leave. Not seen a response specifically to the Dreadnought yet from Ben. Are they hoping to get a... Nope, there's Fire Dragons on the way. I was going to say, are they hoping to get a Wraith Lord? This Autark's going to die. Uh-oh. Not sure what Ben was looking at there. Maybe the Star Avengers keeping them away from the Dreadnought. It's a big loss. It's actually quite a big loss because the Autark's leap also buffs speed, which would help the Banshees and the Fire Dragons chase the Dreadnought. Fire Dragons are still on the way though. Raptors, have you leveled up yet fellas? You've barely got any XP. Ben's been pretty careful when picking fights. There's a decent jump. They're trying to fleet away. Dropping models though. Should have just retreated earlier I think. Was trying to wait for these guys. There's the Fire Dragons. They have those fusion guns I think they're called. Kind of rapid firing melters. Good damage to all targets. We need to get relatively close. Banshees are going to get a model here, I think. Maybe another. Oh, they got the aspiring champion there. 19 red for that guy. Dreadnought backing away, keeping close to some heretics. This could be dangerous, actually. Needs to keep moving back. Heretics might be taken out of the game, but there's Touch of Nurgle. When in doubt, let Nurgle touch your things. These heretics are going to die, I think. Yes. Fire Dragons did drop a model. There's the Farseer with some Mind War shenanigans. Not seen her use the Levitation Field yet, but I'm sure she has. What is this? Grenades being dodged by the CSM. They now have a ton of war. You can tell because of that fancy stuff around their gun. I guessing that those guys tried to get into melee and grenade forced them off. Farseer lives. Banshee's chopping up the heretics there and now giving chase to the Dreadnought. Dreadnought needs to keep moving it. This is very dangerous. Five Dragons getting in with guide on them it looks like. Oh there might be their own ability. Which I always forget what it does. Yeah this Dreadnought's done for I think. With no melee resistance it's quite susceptible to a Banshee rush like this. And Fire Dragon support, there's no chance. Raptors tried to save it with a jump to suppress. Shroom, all of a sudden, down to three units, dropping those Heretics and the Dreadnought in quick succession. Plague Champion, level two, no war gear. Now taking a big amount of shots, only in light cover here. Not gonna be able to defend. In fact, you're gonna die. That was a sloppy loss there from Shroom, was waiting for support but misjudged it. Raptors try to get the jump and they do get it. Boom. I feel like the Raptors aspiring champion is sometimes purchased a little bit hastily. I mean yeah he has a, he's a cool weapon and stuff but unless you're fighting a vehicle I think they're pretty good left just kind of jumping into stuff and suppressing them. Unlike Assault Marines where you can get the awesome Merciless Strike I don't think the Demonic Fury is nearly as good as that. So I'm not sure paying the 25 power or whatever it is for the aspiring champion multiple times has particularly paid off it. Almost dropped the entire squad and the aspiring champion goes down again. That was pretty rough for Shroom. Triple cap for Ben. Rangers run away. Play champion trying to get some territory back, but look at the map here. Fire Dragons making a huge difference. Raptors, sorry, Banshee's dropping a model. Raptors are reinforced. And the farce here gets the decat. That could be GG right there. Ben is going tier three. Oh, Shroom got another dreadnought up. Saw them going tier three momentarily. Gonna be very difficult for Shroom to come back here. Best of five series, of course. 
as usual in this Elite League group uh, final stages. Webway goes up. Aspiring Champion again comes in for the Raptors. Where are you getting all these Aspiring Champions from? Quite a dangerous job so far. Five Dragons are painful. Dreadnought does not want to be alone. Needs friends. And all the heretics are gone now. I didn't even see the others go down. I don't see any heretic, fresh heretic bodies anywhere. Maybe it was those guys. CSM just trying to get a decap under fire. Dire Avengers using their um, emboldened thing. Dreadnought getting to melee, maybe. There we go. Got very, very close before he started attacking. That special would have been really painful there. Farseer puts Guide on the Fire Dragons again a little bit soon, I think. There's GG from Shroom. And there's the game. Not a lot that the Plague Champion could do after those losses, I don't think. With Eldar mobility giving him the map so quickly. It's pretty tough. But hey, the Aspiring Champion for the Raptors is alive at the end. You had a level 2 Plague Champion, level 4 Farseer. Ben goes 1-up. And I'll see you guys in Game 2. Hey people, Intrude here, back with game two of this second quarter final. We're on Fedrid Folly, and it's more Chaos versus more Eldar, but this time Shroom has brought out the Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights in melee combat. And up against Ben brings the Warlock, a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat. Some powerful disruption and support. We have more heretics for Shroom, we have triple Dire Avengers. For Ben looking to pour some pew pew into the big old Chaos Lord's face. Probably going to see this guy go and harass the VP immediately. Oh no, looks like he's going for the power. Chaos Lord wants power. Warlock grabbing the VP while those guys grab the wreck point. Maybe then moving straight onto the power to have a look. He does have that fancy emulator these days, which gives damage over time on ranged attacks. Dire Avengers, yeah. They should be shooting at his heretics while they cap. Don't let things cap in peace if you can help it. I wonder if they get a model here. Probably. Looks like they're basically all shooting at the same player. There he goes. Heretics get the cap. They're going to drop another one, I think. Oh, they're going in. They do drop another one. Dire Avengers needed to move a little bit sooner. Doom Blast. And they kill a model. Okay. Heretic did okay there. Got the cap, forced them off, got a model. They did drop three. But hey, they're heretics. They don't really know how to stay alive. CSM able to push forward. Get to those Dire Avengers and Chaos Lord. Will happily decap the wreck point. Warlock did not. Oh, Destructor. Did not move on to the enemy power. Doubles back to defend here. That was not decap. That was a good Destructor then. And we do have some Banshees, after all. Power melee weapons can slice up those CSM pretty effectively. Chaos Lord will not be pleased, though. And he does have that kill the weak. Pretty damn good brawler early on. Gets in on the Warlock and uses kill the weak just on them. Perhaps not expecting the Banshees, but now they reveal themselves. Strangely spit up up there. Warlock, I think, is going to be okay. Oh, that's a big hit, though. Don't think the Chaos Lord has enough speed or range damage to get that done. 485 to 462. Banshee's giving chase. Haven't gone into their melee charge animation. No, there we go. CSM are okay. There's some corn worship boosting the speed of the Chaos Lord's units. And it's Havocs. Nope, cancelled Havocs. What is your plan for these Banshees then, Shroom? Get more heretics. Get like three more heretics. Just flood the map with them. Doom blast everything. Chaos Lord could be in trouble here. Although he's killed a week already. They're trying to bait it out there, the Banshees. And they do. Killed a week used. Which could mean a dead Chaos Lord. 
and it is. It was trying desperately to get into worship range. Heretics needed to push forward a little bit more. Now they have an aspiring champion, scares off the Banshees. Might eat a grenade here though. No? We saw Ben use those grenades pretty well in the first game, does not use them there. Oh, goes for the CSM. I thought they should have uh, chucked him on the Heretics there. The Heretics actually did a hell of a lot of damage in the end. Warlock misses the Destructor. Chaos Lord is repurchased and it's Raptors again for Shroom. The Warlock can do some nasty things to melee units in Tier 1 with the Merciless Witchblade, especially jump units, because it drains their energy. But here we are. We got some Raptors. The aggressive choice compared to Havoc's a little bit more safer. I think Havoc's would have been the way to go, but uh, maybe these guys will mop everything up and make me sound like a fool. Warlock, I think, could be able to grab this, although Kill the Weak could knock him off it. Halfway there. Come on, Warlock, you can cap it. Oh no, doesn't even want to. Just fleets away. Lives to fight another day. Don't have grenades for both of the direct vendors. Oh, there's three of them, isn't there? So two of them have grenades. That could be really bad for raptors if they get caught by both of them. Not sure where the banshees are at now. On the VP. Looks like Ben is happy to engage. Now has spotted the raptors, I think. Are they looking for an isolated group? They are. There's a jump. Heretics being shot up as they try to get in. That's going to be tough for them. Unless they can flank or block line of sight or something. Just the sheer DPS, piercing DPS from double Dire Avengers is enough to deter them most of the time. And if there's all three Dire Avengers shooting at them and the Destructor flies in or something, Heretics in trouble. Raptors flee. Heretics cap. Chaos Lord has found some Dire Avengers. That's a special attack. Doesn't really have a very good special, I don't think, the Chaos Lord with his default weapon. Decently quick animation, but it seems to do barely any damage. It doesn't knock back a lot of stuff either. Runs off, I guess he does have killed a week. Tier 2 for Shroom. Are oh, we going to see a Blood Crusher? Merciless Switchblade is in for the Warlock and it's pretty merciless. 65 melee DPS delivers those attacks pretty slowly, so it's like 130 per hit. Drains that energy, knock back on a range attack. It's a fantastic weapon. Looks like Shroom's going to get tier 2 in decent time here, but um, can they get. Can they hold the map long enough to get some tier 2 stuff out? Because those points are disappearing. They're losing this power, they're losing that wreck. Raptor jump. They got it. Gonna eat a grenade though. Ouch. They didn't drop a model though. Banshees don't want to engage all of that. Is Ben floating here? No, not yet. Two gens up and three gens up. I haven't seen a big push for either of the powers. Although this one does have damage. Aspiring champion on the way for the Raptors. Really likes this purchase, it seems, early. Shroom. I feel like Chaos players fall into that a bit too often. Wanting to get their Aspiring Champions up in Tier 2. Blood Crusher's on the way though. Oh, Aspiring Champion was cancelled. No, it wasn't cancelled. There he is. He's there. He's got his fancy big two-handed weapon. We'll see how they do. Might be good against the Warlock while he's draining their energy and stuff just to use the big old demonic fury thing and smack him away. Banshees are on the node though and there's not a lot here to stop them shroom's not really in the position to get onto the other power here does grab the contested stuff back on this side though and the vp for a two to one i think unless you see grenades come in here does ben want to do this no i think he's going to use them defensively like that that one misses these guys now fleeting away there is the Mantle of Hate for Drain Life on the Chaos, uh, the Warlock most likely most of the time. 
but you can use it on the Banshee Exarch maybe. There's that combi flamer. Raptors are going to jump. There it is. Bad place to be for the Dire Avengers. Big old special there from the Demon Maul. Fire Dragon's on the way. Blood Crusher, was it spotted? Maybe the Warlock spotted it, or maybe did they just heard stuff breaking. On the power. See Blood Letter riding a Juggernaut. Benefits greatly from worship. Some heavy melee damage. Some decent abilities too, but lacks melee resistance. Which can really hurt its survivability. Only has 600 hit points too. But you get it out at the right time. When your opponent can't really deal with it. And it can do wonders. But here we see it being dealt with. Fire Dragons and Banshees are there too. Looks like the Blood Crusher is doing a good job picking off the Fire Dragons though. And they are forced to retreat. There's some Corn Worship. Blood Crusher doing some decent work here. Banshee's running into a whole pile of heretics, which wasn't a great idea. Are they going to die? They are going to die. Well done, Blood Crusher. Look at this guy. And gets it out. Well played, Shroom. I thought it was done for there. Plague Marines are on the way. Needs to be careful not to stay extended like this. Lost a number of heretics. Well, that's okay. They are heretics. They're there to die. Needs to get a Blood Crusher moving. There we go. Charges it out. Chaos Lord, meanwhile, defending the power against the Warlock, gets the Drain Life. And Raptors take it out. GG, says Ben. And concedes. A little bit of an early concede, but with the Warlock down, maybe they felt the Raptors were going to run riot because the Banshees were out. Shroom turns it around. That's what a, that's what a well-toned Blood Crusher can do for you. I thought it came out a little bit late with the Fire Dragons already on the field. But going into base like that and specifically targeting these guys worked out pretty well. There it is. 1-1 one, one in the series now then. I'll see you guys in Game 3. Hey people, Intrit here, back with game 3 of this quarterfinal. We're on Jarillo's Forge and Shroom has got their own Warlock. This guy's a melee spellcaster that can leap into combat with some powerful disruption and support. The same Han elite scheme. And Ben rocking a Lictor Alpha, a melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt with some powerful offense and a bit of support. Shroom straight into some Banshees. And... I don't see more Dire Avengers. we got power going up, which means and suggests that Shroom wants to get both Rangers and Shuriken out. Boom! Destructor on the Hormagons' faces. That was pretty bad for them. And they're going in for an assault, looks like. Banshee's alongside the Warlock, using his fleet to get in there. Double Termagants for Ben. Hormagons now leaping on him. Gets a special, which is dodged. Where is the Lictor? There he is. Looks like he's killed a Dire Avenger and flesh hooks the Warlock. Look how weak that hook was compared to how it's been previously. Would have sent the Warlock flung miles away before. Hormagon's barely getting away. Now the Banshees are in trouble. Oh, Lick to Alpha retreats. I don't think he would have been able to finish them off anyway. They were two kind of split up there. Some losses on both sides then. Shroom did pretty well. Like, went straight after the Nids, knowing that the opening amount of units was going to be pretty low. Just go straight after them with your Banshees and your Warlock. Pin them back a bit. It's a decent Destructor again. But it's pretty low and needs to flee. I think that was a pretty decent opening, considering I only had two units on the field. We have a Shuriken Cannon on the way. Gone for the ability su to suppress things before the ability... To see this sneaky guy. Not sure what I'd get first. I guess either can work. Don't see any upgrades for the broods yet. And no war gear. We do have two power up. So we're going to see a tier 1.5 soon. Warriors or Raveners. I think you can make them both work. Warriors is the 
safe for that, I think, with the synapse that they give off. Pomegranates did not want to fight those Banshees. Just looked at them when they backed away. Warriors are on the way now for Ben. Dar Avengers could have a bad day here. It's a sneaky Lictor. And Termigant's trying to nullify their cover there by getting on a flanking position. There's a flesh hook. Took out a couple. Took out a couple. And now Rangers for Shroom. Warlock, who doesn't have a melee charge because he can jump on you. And after his jump, he does get a little speed boost, I think. It's just not a melee charge. Dealt with there, though. Lictorath has done well so far. Here's that shuriken with the suppressing going on. Not sure what it's up to. Just defending the power, maybe. Wary of a sneaky Lictor is what it's up to, I suppose. There's that firing arc. But there's the Lictor. Oh, no. Gets close enough to the Rangers to be spotted. Eats a shot, but was already out of the firing arc of the shuriken. Eats another shot. Can you get a model? Can you get a model? You can. Those guys will have to pay power to reinforce. Meanwhile, in the southwest, Warrior Brood alongside Double Termigants deal with the Banshees. We do have Toxin Sacks up on one. No Adrenal Glands though. No Barb Strangler. And no War Gear for the heroes. Rangers on capping duty towards the northeast. Destructor flies out. It's a pretty good one. Shuriken are going northeast. What are they up to? Oh, they're trying to stop this. Rangers going for the garrison, I think. Nope. Didn't even want to risk that. They do get into the shuriken safety. And those guys are forced to retreat. No grenade on retreat path, though. Warriors took the VP. Now having a look at the power. Banshee's not defending it right now. Because the Eldar are also having a look at the power. And Banshees are our only decent unit at bashing in tier 1, really. There's that Lictor, though. Decent special. Warriors following in behind. And there's the double Termigants. Can they get their Crippling Poison? I guess they don't need to. Banshees are staying in this combat here. And there's the Channeling Runes. Incredibly powerful healing ability. But it does need to be channeled, which means the Warlock can't do anything else. They took out the Rangers, though. The Warriors found them, leapt on them, and finished them off. Looks like the Guardian Weapon team is also going to go down here. And that's pretty bad for Shroom. More Rangers on the way. Termigant's getting chopped up, though. So Termigant's dropped. Rangers dropped. Shuriken dropped. I think overall a win for Ben. Now has a Ravenna Brood on the way. I was not expecting both. I thought they'd go tier 2 with just this. Shroom knows they need to make something happen here, so stays on the power, gets one of them. Got the no too. Did the Shuriken really not turn around at all there? What was it shooting at? It was pointing towards the southeast. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy watching the Banshees chop things up. More Banshees on the way now for Shroom. The Termigan that survives does have the Toxin Sacks, and here's the Ravenna Brood. Can borrow and disrupt. Begin with a ranged weapon these days, but you can make them into a dedicated melee unit. Pretty cool dedicated melee unit too. Hormagaunt's now bashing power. Banshees will have a word with them. Or probably just yell at them and swing their swords. Raven is using their burrow to escape there. Don't have a grenade, which could be a good way to surprise some burrowing raveners. You do get a little visual cue. The ground will become cracked. So you can tell when they're going to come up. Uh-oh. Warlock is taken down. Set up by the good old flesh hook. Ben looks pretty strong right now. 358 to 500 on the VPs. Tier 2 now for Ben. Shroom does have a decent amount of power. The node was taken down there. Ravenna's in synapse range. You can tell because of the green crap on their head. Thanks to the Warriors, of course. Did not want to tackle them both. Shroom really spread thin with only three units trying to hold this map here. Tier 2 for Shroom. I guess you get a Tyrant Guard if you're Ben. Smack around some Banshees, although Banshees do okay. 
with all that power melee damage, they do okay against the Tyrant Guard. But if the Tyranids have any kind of support, they're going to get shredded. They have a level 2 Hormagon Brood and Scything Talons on the way for the Lictor Alpha. Pretty dangerous melee weapon that has a knockback ability. Pretty handy. Hormagons now have their Adrenal Glands alongside the Warrior Brood. Doing pretty well, as you can see there. Really well. They're level 2. Banshees were only level 1, but Banshees did have an aspect. And Lictor's there on retreat path, and that could be GG. Well played by Ben. Surprised how well those Hormagons did. They were in Synapse range. But that was all them. I don't think the Warriors got an attack in. Pretty much whacked the floor with those Banshees. They did have one level on them too. There's that Burrow Strike. Some Domino knockback there for Dire Avengers. Can you kill one, Mr. Warlock? Not quite. Gonna be so tough. Shroom's not giving up though. Gets the power decaps. There's the GG. Maybe they are giving up. There we go. Fair enough. Lost too much, I think, to expect to be able to come back into it. There's these silent talons. Did any of you guys level up? The Termigans did. Well done, fellas. So did the Dire Avengers. No grenades, though. Well, there is the third game down. It's 2-1 to one for Shroom. And I'll see you game, guys in game four. Hey people, Intrude here, welcome back to the Elite League. This is game four of this second quarter final on Calderas Refinery and Shroom has gone for the Sorcerer. Offensive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and disruption. And up against it's Chaos versus Chaos Ben has gone for a Plague Champion. Starts off ranged combat with a damage of a time bolter, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support can build turrets and repair, but it's very slow. I think the Plague Champion is generally favored in this matchup, Sorcerer like needs war gear and stuff to be good. Doesn't start off as a very good brawler, but does have those doom bolts. And if you hit them well, you can swing engagements pretty nicely. Especially against mass heretics, eh? And Ben's gone for three of them. Two to one for Ben, so Shroom is fighting for their place in this best of five matchup with some Chaos Space Marines. Plague Champion has black grenades of course which are nasty against a mass of heretics we could see two of them running in from shroom i'm terrible at using them but other players are good other players know what they're doing csm gonna run in, run into heretics on this side you gotta favor the csm there against default heretics can shoot them on the way in and then good as power armored elbows we got some csm on the way for ben it's like a noisy build from 2016 triple heretics into csm and then Havocs, maybe. The Doom Bolts. Looks like they completely missed. Consumes one of his own Heretics to get some energy back. And try again. Heretics. Tried to go in there. Not sure what they were attempting to do. They would have been smacked around by the CSM. Doom Blast and Run dropped a couple of models for no real reason. Play Champion now. Gets in with all them heretics. Doom blows is well, pretty effective. Doom bolts there. Need to stay in cover against the sorcerer early on. His heretics got messed up. In fact, he consumed one of them, which might mean they fall. One hit point. Are oh, they going to be okay? The regen kicked in, or rather, the plague champion's damage over time stopped, which saved them. I think that was a risky play consuming those guys as they were trying to escape with their lives. There's a decent Doom Bolts as we saw though, CSM got really messed up by it. Lots of reinforcing to do there, but it's only 13 I think. 12 these days. CSM of Shroom. Oh, getting caught. Big champion they ran into. Thought they were going to go and decap the mid. How many aspiring champions do we have? Only one from Ben. 
and of course the one we saw from Shroom. How much XP did you get for that, Mr. Sorcerer? Decent amount. Didn't actually get a CSM model, I don't think, but plenty of heretics died. Can you get a model now, Mr. Plague Champion? Nope. These guys got a decap now in heavy cover, although I don't think, yeah, that guy was standing in an odd place. And Shroom's not happy dropping that model there. Was pretty unlucky. These cover items are quite small, even for three models, and drops another one. Again, I don't think that guy was in cover properly. Like grenades it is. Dodges the throw. And now Raptors for Shroom. Could see them swarmed by multiple heretics and in a touch of Nurgle, and of course, Plague Champion can get a pretty decent tier 1 power melee weapon with his Plague Sword. Ignores melee resistance. It can fall off a little bit because the damage doesn't actually scale with his level, I think, since it's technically not doing damage so that it can ignore melee resist. It's like a secondary effect that does the damage, which doesn't scale with his level. I'm not sure if that's a oversight from Relic that was just never fixed or if it's intended because of the ignoring melee resist thing. Meanwhile, heretics are dying in droves. Decent black grenade there, but I think they're going to be okay. Sorcerer also got infected. The Sword of Flame on the way. And here are the Raptors. We've seen Shroom use Raptors in every Chaos Hero so far. There's a jump. Gets on those guys pretty good. Going to force them to retreat. CSM with a single model for Ben. Also get away. So a lot of reinforcing to do. They do have a lot of requisition though as well. Yeah. It's a fair amount of wreck to have to pay. I think CSM are 66 each. We saw the heretics at 12. It's a lot. It's like 300 requisition and reinforcements over there. Can Shroom push against the power now? With this numerical advantage out in the field at the moment. The mid is blue. Looks like they don't want to right now. Looks like we're not going to see it. Sorcerer's level 2 can now use Coruscant and Flame to help in the mass heretic brawls. We do have two aspiring champion heretics though for Ben. Gotta be careful not to throw the grenades of course on your own heretics. The infection only spreads to units of the same player but if you're caught in the initial blast you're infected no matter what. Some decent bolt pistol shots there. Wish I bet the sorcerer wishes he had a teleport. Just to get straight in on those CSM. We see the plague sword now for the plague champion. This could be really bad news for the raptors, although Ben is spending a healthy amount of power in tier one to try and deal with this. There's the black grenade. Easily dodged. Plasma pistol getting shots in. Meanwhile, heretics with an aspiring champion for Shroom. Hanging out and harassing on the western side. There's some Zinchi in worship. Are we going to see a good Doom Bolt here? I don't see it. Go straight after the Plague Champion. That's probably the way to do it. His Black Grenades are gone. Just try and get him off the field as soon as possible. Might even take him down here. In fact, I think he is going to go down. That's a good Doom Bolt too. That's a really messy engagement for Ben. Shroom handled that pretty damn well. Touch of Nurgle came a little bit late, but does get the Sorcerer down. So they both lose their heroes. More Doom Blasts against nothing over there. Raptors just backing the hell away because of the Touch of Nurgle. Global ability of the Plague Champion. Basically just wins melee engagements for you. Tier 2 for both players, Shroom going slightly sooner. Really good engagement turned into a pretty good engagement by losing the Sorcerer there. Chains of Torment in Tier 2 could do some real work. Aspiring Champion queued up for the Raptors. We've seen Shroom purchase that guy very, very quickly. And against the Melee Plague Champion, that big Demonic Fury thing could help take him out. 
Gonna have to jump away, fellas. There we go. There we go. Back to the mid is Shroom. Not a lot of power unless something's already been queued up, which is possible. VP's pretty close. Shroom is on the power. Not sure what these heretics are doing. There we go. Move towards the enemy, guys. Nope, they're backing away again. Those guys got the generator. They're trying to get onto those CSM. More Doom Blasts, more levels. We see the Circle of Summoning for Shroom. Nice usage. Like a nice little counter attack against this power defense. And now the CSM come in. Yeah, really good usage of that global and can now continue bashing. Blood Crusher it is for Ben and also for Shroom. Blood Letters are just awesome. Kind of bummed we haven't seen any in this series so far, despite all the chaos. Nobody's actually purchased some Blood Letters. Yeah, pretty damn good. 418 to 379. Doom Blast and Flee. Dodges the enemy Doom Blast. And here's that Blood Crusher under some Nurgle worship. Might be time for Shroom to leave. These guys are going to get the node though. Well done, fellas. Almost. Are like halfway through level 2. Good amount of map for Shroom. Has the VP lead. Has more of a way to deal with the Blood Crusher than Ben does. This guy has a heavy melee weapon. Could be in trouble here though. Just saw the Demonic Fury. But I think those guys were retreating already so it didn't knock them over. Okay, they get away with three models. That's not too bad. Stays in. Shroom stays in. Yeah, it's so risky when your enemy is a plague champion because there's the touch of Nurgle. It does have an internal cooldown. I think it's like three or four seconds between being able to trigger the touch of Nurgle explosion. Basically the same, same amount of time as the Doom Blast cooldown. So it's not like every single kill is going to set off explosion. Here comes a Blood Crusher from Shroom. Goes for the charge to stop the cap. But misses. Those guys stopped anyway. Special attack misses. Here's the enemy Blood Crusher. Lots of stuff still healing up. Can this guy get a model before it gets too deep? No, not even going to try it. Plague Marines for Shroom. Whereas Ben, unable to get some anti-vehicle on the field. Shroom's going to have a big advantage here. Those Doom Bolts have really made a difference early on. Oh, Plague Champ is repurchased. There he is. It's a big old Blood Crusher fight. Looks like Ben's is winning right now. Was able to get a few hits in while it was uh, running around chasing the CSM, that's why. But now it's bad news for this guy. That heavy melee weapon and the Plague Marines. There we go. He's gonna snare the target. Oh, they used the uh, Demonic Fury on the Blood Crusher. It looked like, anyway. Oh, we have a zombie raptor now, thanks to the Plague Sword. Uses the jump to suppress. Nicely done. Looks like the Blood Crusher is gonna be okay ish over there. This guy might want to get back into worship range. But Shroom smells blood, I think. Knowing that they have the advantage of having the Plague Marines up. Are the Plague Marines being tied up here? Maybe? No, they aren't. Ben is gonna lose the Blood Crusher, but Shroom might also, although. In comes some worship at just the right time. That could be GG. That could be GG. Indeed it is. We're going to go to a fifth and final game here. Well done, Shroom. Plague Marine Purchase. Made the difference at the end there. Level 2 Sorcerer down. Almost level 3. Killed so much stuff with those late Doom Bolts. And a Plague Champion. Level 2. There have it guys, and I'll see you in game five.
Hey people, Intrude here back with game 5 of this Elite League quarter final. We're on Seraph Palace and it's a whole bunch of Tyranids. Shroom has gone for the Licked Alpha, a melee specialist that can infiltrate and disrupt some powerful offense and a bit of support. Ben with their Raven Alpha, tunneling hero with great mobility, powerful offense and a bit of support is 2-2. Two to two. The deciding game here on Seraph Palace. The tunnel is being used by Ben. And then jogs back to the power to cap it. Okay. Double termigans for both players. Lictor Alpha. Could mess up the Ravener pretty badly with the flesh hook and stuff, but I think needs to invest in an early power weapon, maybe. To really make that count. There's that flesh hook doing its thing. Spore mines now for Ben. Could be awkward to deal with. Are you going to attack the tunnel? Seems like the termigants are. You get 15 red, I think, which is not bad. It's like killing a marine almost. There we go. Now those guys can try and decap. Lictor Alpha seems so slow on his feet. There's those spore mines. Can detonate to do damage over time. You need to be careful of positioning your own stuff, though. Four mines now for Shroom. Kicking off. Hormagons versus Hormagons. Look, that looks like the red fellas of Ben have the advantage there. Catching them in retreat too. Not sure why those Termigants walked up to them. Licks at Alpha meanwhile. Scything through a bunch of Termigants. Spore mines doing their thing. You guys do not want to hang around. It's really hard to shoot Spore mines. They're very small. Okay. Bunch of Termigants died, bunch of Hormigants died. But it's Ben who sustains a presence in the field here. Maybe the Pheromone from the Lictor Alpha seems kind of like a no brainer. Make your Tyranids better than the enemy Tyranids and allow them to reinforce. It's a Warrior Brood for both players wanting to get that Synapse up. It's a no cap game right now. Oh, Spawn Mine's got that last detonation. Hold on, fellas. What is, what is this? Oh. It's more spawn mines. They can't cap. Flesh hook. Oh, I was getting into the tunnel. Now it goes for the cap. I don't see any toxin sacks. They went straight for the warrior broods. Here's shrooms. Fens is in a tunnel somewhere. And that tunnel was taken out. More red for shroom. Uh oh. Termigants of Ben died. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened either. I wasn't paying attention, Ben. It's a big loss. Hormagons found them. Then, I wonder if they thought they gave a uh, order to get into a tunnel or something. Where did the tunnel go? Is that new? I'm not sure. Oh. The tunnel that the Ravener was building disappeared. I thought it. I thought I saw it go down. Yeah, he flesh hooked it as the Ravener was like getting inside of it, which uh, the game interpreted as this tunnel's gone for some reason. Hey, Dawn of War Two. Dawn of what's going on? More Warrior Brood for Ben. No, cancels it and makes another one. There we go. Hormagaunts on the way for Ben. Confusion all around. Ravener gets flesh hooked again. It's made a big difference here. All this hooking. And has Toxin Miasma. Does not go for a power melee weapon, but does the debuff and damage over time thing. Hormagaunts with adrenal glands against Hormagaunts without adrenal glands. Bad news for the other fellas. And there's a second Pomagorn Brood for Ben. Warriors getting into some stuff. They do that awesome little leap. Wait. Oh, why did the Ravener retreat? I guess he wants more hit points before he comes back out here. Shroom with the advantage. Although I think the second Pomagorn Brood was an inspired choice by, by Ben. Can sick them all onto the enemy Raptors, on the enemy uh, Warriors, sorry and get those synapse explosions get in amongst the termigants but we'll see if they have time 
to make stuff happen here before tier 2. Here they come. Did not get Adrenal Glands for the second row. They don't have the resources right now, Ben. Rather no war, no war gear. And here comes that Lictor. See his glowing toxin miasma claws. And a Barb Strangler for Ben. There's that Flesh Hook once again. Very, very difficult to deal with. Warriors were not close enough to spot him there. And if he gets the hook, that Shroom basically wins the engagement at the moment. There's those double former gods. Can they do some work here? Both have adrenal glands at the moment. Now they're turning onto the warriors. And when there's 16 of the little fellas. Yeah, they're getting models here. Saved by the crippling poison, I think. That could work out okay going forward for Ben. They don't really have an answer. This Lictor Alpha is messing stuff up, though. Including the Raven Alpha itself. Look at the damage from the Toxin Miasma. If that wasn't a special attack, there might have been a dead Ravener there. 478 to 397. And now Shroom able to cap mid. Done really well. Raven has had no real answer to that, guys, so far. I wonder if it's worth him going crippling talent to try and debuff the Lictor and get in amongst the enemy Hormagons and stuff. And do more against the enemy Warrior Brood, of course. Shroom's Hormagons able to get close to the Barb Strangler Warrior Brood, which wasn't great. Gets them off the field very quickly. And now the double Hormagons will not have Synapse support. Leapt on them there. It's now a Ravener Brood for Ben, while Shroom goes tier 2. I don't think they've been able to get onto the power. But they do have the contested node up. While well, Ben does some capping over there. Still the 2 to 1 cap for Shroom, though. It's a big risk getting those Raveners and delaying tier 2 for Ben. There's that Lictor again. Alongside the Warrior Brood, a decent flesh hook. And might kill that warrior, does kill that warrior. It's hard to approach Shroom when a flesh ship just messes up your plans. Can the Raveners bring some DPS and threaten this Lictor? 471 to 378. Barb Shangler does its job that time. Gets another shot in. Decent power bash there but is persuaded to leave, which might give Ben some breathing room to retake the map here. Is building up a decent tunnel network now. Ravenna has separated itself from the engagement, knowing that it's pretty much being dealt with pretty quickly. Genes to the brood now for Shroom, that's pretty scary. Pretty scary. Don't think I've noticed Catalyst being used. In fact, Ben has quite a lot of red, so probably hasn't used it. Can really turn the tide in the mirror fight, of course. If you can put Catalyst on a unit that isn't being targeted. And really rip through stuff. There's a capillary tower. Here's the Gene Stealers. Melee superiority. They will rip through Ben's army if given half the chance. And now they have Adrenal Gland melee synapse support. GG says Ben. There it is. Shroom takes the series 3-2. Ben feeling like they didn't have the tech game going quickly enough down to a single gen here up against melee synapse gene stealers would have been very tough to make it work. Yeah, the weird weird shenanigans there with the tunnel. On my screen it looked like it it was built okay even after the flesh hook, but I, I guess it disappeared while I wasn't paying attention. Although I'm not sure why that... Oh, maybe the other tunnel came this side. And those guys tried to get into it. But Hormagons just ripped them up. Lictor Alpha did have Toxic Cyst at the end. He went all toxic. But they have it. And uh, Shroom would advance to the semi-finals. Thank you for watching, guys. Good play from both players. And I'll see you next time.